Well, we're back uh, right here on Hala Kuwait, and I hope everyone out there is enjoying their evening. We have with us right now our first guest, Her Excellency uh, Juliet Wilcox, uh, UK uh, Cybersecurity Ambassador. Uh, Your Excellency, welcome to our program, Hala Kuwait. Thank you very much. It's lovely to be here. Nice to have you with us. And uh, Your Excellency, is this your first visit here to the state of Kuwait? And if yes, uh, how are things going so far? Well, it's actually my second visit here to the state of Kuwait, but uh, this visit has been wonderful. I've had a great opportunity to meet you know, many new people uh, and to experience a little bit more of the city as well. I've been able to travel around a little more. Well, we're very happy that you're having a pleasant stay right here in the state of Kuwait, Your Excellency. And I know you're here to partake and take uh, part in a uh, conference yep. that's being held right here in the state of Kuwait, the Cyber Security and Educational Research uh, Conference. So tell us a little bit. I believe you had a presentation today. I did. Can you yeah. tell us about your presentation and what took place? Certainly. So I had a presentation uh, at the beginning, at the opening of the session today, um, and and in that, what I've tried, been trying to do is to uh, explain what the UK's approach to cybersecurity is. We have a, a new national cyber strategy, um, and so I outlined the main principles of that. And then I also talked a little bit about my own role and the, the role I have on behalf of the UK uh, government. And I wanted to uh, make sure that I brought out the importance of education and research, because of course that's the point of the conference as well. So it was a really, uh, you know, fantastic opportunity to speak to that audience about it. And can you tell us now a little bit, please, about uh, international collaboration mm. around cybersecurity, please? Uh, take your time, please, with that answer. Yeah. So, I mean, it happens on a number of different levels. Mm -hmm. So, uh, clearly, international collaboration is important to make sure that we all have that peaceful and secure and open internet, which we need to survive to drive our, our, our kind of industry and to, to communicate. Um, and to do that around the world without disruption requires certain rules of the road. Of so course. we do need to talk internationally and make sure that we agree with friends and partners about that, a bit like you'd have an, an airline industry set of rules and regulations. So that's one thing. Um, the second thing we want to do is to collaborate to make sure the actual skills that we have grow and, and keep up with the technology. So we want the, f the latest technology, we want to invest and we want to have as much uh, sort of future capabilities we can, but the skills have to grow with that and that's an international problem. So we work together on that. And then thirdly, we work together to build that capability, particularly through aid and capacity building projects in countries that don't necessarily have the advances that, that countries like the UK and increasingly Kuwait does. Uh, so I think that's, those are the sort of the three main points, but really um, this is something that affects us all. You know, one attack from a cyber yes. threat, it, it, it can it cause havoc around. all around the world. There are no borders, there right. are no borders. So it, it is an international problem, it's a whole of society problem. And so that ability to collaborate and exchange ideas and to work together is you know, at the heart of it all. Your Excellency, that leads me to my next question. Maybe you could tell us, please, about the UK National Cyber Security Centre, please. Yes, of course. So we're really proud of that. It was established about six years ago, one of the, I think, the, probably the first of its kind. Um, and it was designed to bring together all of the cyber security interests in the UK under one technical authority. So it understands all of the technology and the developing technology it can assess whether it's secure or not, whether the products meet our standards. It can also identify where there are weaknesses in it. It can assess threats that it sees, uh, and it can share that. So one of the reasons it was uh, designed where it is is that it works really closely with industry. It has industry people sitting next to it, working together. And then it also has a fantastic function of guidance and advice. So you can look at it to find out how to react to phishing attacks, how mm -hmm. to deal with password issues, but actually at an even higher level, how to have that cyber essential framework even within your own company. What do you need to do to keep yourself safe? So it, it provides guidance from everyone, for society, for government, for organizations. Yes, yeah, it's a very important topic that's uh, discussed worldwide in many different ways. Exactly. And I think as a center of expertise, you know, people have looked at it mm -hmm. and would like one of their own. I think many countries have developed things like that since then. And uh, we, you know, we're there to give advice. I think uh, we've made some mistakes in creating it and we've really had some success too. So I think it's a great model. Um, and it's one that I think in some form or other most countries would need to have. Hopefully that can lead to more collaboration right here with the state of Kuwait and developing that even to a higher level through yeah. conferences and workshops and so forth. We have such a lot in common with Kuwait. I think nobody can escape the, the sort of lack of skilled people to do all of this. Sure. But also I think just that research element. And we today saw at the conference that universities in the UK collaborating with the universities here and creating that um, imaginative and innovative 
uh, way forward to look at cybersecurity. Yeah, they're sending the a lot of uh, young students uh, to are. the UK and worldwide to study this uh, field for uh, future. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we need to study it, but it's not just about that deep technical expertise mm. as well. It's about the users, all of us. Sure. You know, it's about the, the leaders, how they think about how they're going to use knowledge of risk, uh, how they're going to use the data, the analytics that comes in front of them to make decisions. So, you know, everybody needs to have that level of knowledge from the very top, from the C-suite, right down to the youngest children in Correct. school. Correct. Well, Your Excellency, uh, we appreciate your valuable time and insight with us this evening right here on Hela Kuwait. Do you have any last words or comments for the audience uh, tuning in this evening? Well, I think cybersecurity is going to help. It's going to be part of all of our lives. Every product you have at home, every industry you work with needs cybersecurity. And I think the three words I think of are trust, collaboration, and, and diversity, both in the products we have and our partners, in the, the, the people we have and that we need to be in that industry, you know, better gender balance, better different ways of thinking. And then in that collaboration, you know, it just isn't possible to do this on your own. So those are the three things that I think spring to mind that I think we are all thinking about and that's why international collaboration is so important. Thank you very much for your time, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'd like to thank uh, Her Excellency uh, Juliette Wilcox, uh, UK Cybersecurity Ambassador, for her time and insight with us this evening right here on Hela Kuwait. Right now we're going to take a short break and then we'll be back with you with some more of our interviews. Stay tuned. <laughs>